How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a really, really cool add-on that makes impossible geometry a lot like this one you're seeing right here. Super, super easy. So let's get into doing it. First off, you're going to want to go to the link in the description and download the add-on. So you'll click that link and then click code and just download the zip right there. And then you'll go here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a new uh, file here. Just don't save. And then you're going to go to edit preferences and then you'll go to install. And then you just go to where you save that file for me. It's right there. You'll double click it. And then when you'll du double click it, you'll see Paradox Toolkit and click the little check mark right there to enable it. Now I'm just going to highlight everything here, delete it. And we're going to click this arrow, which brings you to the Paradox Tools. And you have a lot of really cool things here. What I would like to point you to if you really want to get in depth on this add on is go to this guy's Twitter account and I'll be linking a YouTube tutorial on how to use the basic interface and some really fun stuff. And you can make all these types of shapes right here. So it's a really, really cool add on. He was using some freestyle rendering, but I won't be doing that. We're going to be doing a fun little EV animation with one of these shapes in just a minute. So I would go to his Twitter and the YouTube channel, which I'll be linking and check it out even more. So what I'm going to do is go here and go through some of these shapes. So here's the pair, here's the triangle, and then you'll want to click the camera here. And so there you go. You get that classic triangle here. I'll delete that and we'll get another one. Maybe this one. Actually, we just did that one. Um, let me go here to the next one. Nice little, it kind of looks like a D, which is super cool. And then we'll go to right here, kind of a, kind of a cool thing. And then you have some, um, some things you can do here on height, change everything on the width. You can do some fun stuff and really change up the, uh, how this thing looks. So I'll delete him and we'll go ahead and get say an impossible cube, which looks super, super cool. And now let me show you a really quick way to animate this thing. First off, let's just break the illusion. That's what it looks like. Literally, it just it's that. And what it allows you to do is when you use the um, isometric camera, it makes it, it, it gives you that really cool illusion. All right, so let's make that really cool animation. So first off on my camera, I'm gonna head over to the settings and bring my orthographic scale out. So now we have this really cool situation going. Let's go over here to shading. I'm gonna hit zero and I'm also going to click this to do the official rendering. So I'll click on that guy, make sure everything's good. Click new and make sure you're at EV. Don't do this in cycles. When you use cycles, it does more realistic shadows and things like that and it breaks the illusion. You'd have to really kind of mess with it to see if you can maintain the illusion and it kind of doesn't do it justice. So make sure you are in the EV render engine and I'm gonna turn on bloom for this fun little situation. So. I'm just going to bring this guy up here and I'm going to delete principled shift a we're going to get an emission. So we'll get an emission here and plug that into the surface and right here on the world brightness, bring that down on the color to all the way black and then we'll bring this out a little bit. What we want to do is sort of play with the color here on this. So we're going to go shift a search and get a color ramp and we get this color ramp here and on the white portion select that and click the color you want it to be so I'm gonna go with an orange uh, this is gonna be very monochrome so it's gonna be really fun now what we want to do is to get in some kind of texture it doesn't really matter because of what we're gonna be doing with this so I'm just gonna get in a Voronoi what this is really doing is just playing with some shading and we're gonna plug the Voronoi into the color ramp and as you can see right here breaks the illusion so we are gonna sort of go around that. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to Edit, Preferences, and type in Node Wrangler, and make sure the Node Wrangler is enabled for this next little step. Click on Voronoi, Control T, and use the normal output. And what that's gonna allow us to do is now you can see we have some pretty cool shading. So go from 3D here to 4D, and then bring in this black portion here to get back to where we were. And then you can also bring up that strength to get a little bit of fun here. And then on the W, you get this really trippy animation. And this could just be used for so many different types of things. If you hold down Shift and scroll the W, it gives you a more smooth animation. So all you have to do is just bring up a timeline. Bring that up. Click this. Bring it to the timeline. And then we'll just give it, we'll keep it at 250 frames just for the fun of it. And right-click on the W. Insert keyframe. And then we'll go to the end. And then we'll just give it something like this. I want to just do a crazy spastic kind of animation. 
and then right click insert keyframe and then we'll press play and you get this really really cool super wild animation here in Eevee and you can export that out have some fun and if you don't want it to be completely black you want to have some shading in there so just bring it to something like this and then just press play and you get a really subtle, really nice, impossible geometry, glowing animation with this really cool add-on. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. And go hit up the maker of this add-on and tell him you made something super cool. Thanks for watching.